Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the validate settings node. Let's go ahead and actually disconnect this node and see what problems can happen, and then we'll reconnect it and. Actually, that's not going to work because I need to break. I need to break it, show you what's wrong, validate it, and show you how it works. So, let me explain how it works, and then we'll break it. Validate settings is intended to make sure that your game user settings object is valid. Seriously, that's that's all it's for. But it's actually super important to do it whenever you get or load your game user settings. Let me pull up the code, and this is actually the code that it calls. And let me close this because that's annoying. Wow, there's an orange line there. I have no idea why. This is what the code does. Basically, it's going to check and see if it's valid. Is it a current version of the settings file? Then it's going to attempt to load them. If it's never been loaded before, it's like the first time you used your Git game user settings object. Now, if it's an old version, it's going to go ahead and reset everything to the defaults. Make sure everything's valid inside of it, and then reload up a new valid default setting. This stuff right here isn't really that important. What's important is this next part. As part of the setting to defaults, it sets your resolution to zero, zero, zero on the X, zero on the Y. Because of that, they actually have this part in here, which checks to see if your resolution is actually invalid, a zero and zero or lower. If it is, it takes your current screen resolution based on the system resolution. So if it's running at 1280 by 720, which is the default, and the game user settings has an invalid value, it's gonna reset it to a valid setting. And then it goes ahead and it sets the confirmed resolution settings to whatever you're currently using now. This is the part right here that's important for the validate settings node. The first time you set up your game user settings, it's going to set the desired values for the screen width and height to zero because those are the defaults. Why they do it, I don't know, but that's what they do. Because they're set to zero, if you attempt to do something with scale or attempt to recover, you're going to have bad values. So what you need to do is make sure that whenever you get your game user settings, validate afterwards or whenever you're about to get them to save them, validate afterwards. If you set to defaults, which is covered in a different video, validate afterwards. And I'm going to show you why right now. So this is the way it's supposed to work. We'll go ahead and play. We'll look at everything. We have a nice valid scale and we have a bunch of settings here. Let me close this out. Let me go ahead and break it. I'm going to go ahead and set everything to defaults and not save out. So we're going to go ahead and play. And we have a zero up here, which is good. That's exactly what we wanted. Now look what happens when I drag my slider. I have a large number. Technically, this is an infinite number. What's happening is when I ran my set to default node, it set the desired screen height to zero. When it attempts to calculate the scaling based on a zero value, well, it can't and it, it gives an error. Now, if I was to go in here and validate after I set to defaults. So you notice I just basically set to defaults, validate my settings, and then I continue on. Let's go and run this. Now you notice we actually have 1280 for the value here. And if I drag my slider, we have valid values. So by validating, we're fixing that zero, zero issue, which I've mentioned earlier, is important to make sure you do. So that's all the validate node is for. It's to make sure stuff isn't broken, and the primary use is to fix that screen height and default resolution settings. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. It's pretty simple. Run a validate settings node anytime you get your settings or anytime you change a group of settings before you want to apply something. So in this case, I'm getting my game user settings and validating before I actually do anything with them. I do this at my start. Also, if I was to set my values to defaults, I'm going to go and validate afterwards to make sure it fixes the, my resolution.